Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pokemon Glaze. So let's see what's going on here. Nobody passes here. Do uh, go do somewhere. Oh my gosh, this guy. Hey, so what else is going on? Ah, oh, it's the inventor's house. We need to talk to him. I love staring over the pond. It's very calming. Uh, what do you got to say? Uh, one for the inventor. He makes our town proud. Cool. Anything over here? Um, sandcastle, eh? Cool. Oh man, I can't step on it. Lame. I was hoping I could just run it over. Dang. Oh well. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to this inventor guy. Hey inventor, give me things. Where is he? Um. Yeah, this guy, is he here? Did I just miss him? Welcome back, guys. Welcome to Pokemon Glazed. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I actually said that. Anyways, uh, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a good day. I guess he must be up here or something. Uh, this is probably a workshop. Yeah, that makes sense. Inventor's Lab. Okay, hey you, are you the inventor or is it somebody else? We have to constantly be thinking of new ideas or our inventions will become obsolete. What do you have to say? It's great to be an engineer. We're allowed to make anything we want to. Cool. That does sound great. I'm testing the breakthrough strength of various materials with this machine. Neat. Did you know the inventor was the creator of the clapper? I didn't. I'm running vibration tests on this invention of mine to make sure it won't fall apart when shaken. That's probably a good idea. Hey you! If, uh, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Don't disturb me while I'm working. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were one of my pestering aides. You'll be bombed, correct? Professor Willow sent me an email a short while ago, and I have your Pokedex. Here you go. Thanks. It's a, sh a shiny red color, huh? Here, take these as well, uh, as a sort of gift to help you fill the Pokedex's entries. Ah, oh, sweet, we got some Pokeballs. Very cool. Uh, Bob, do you mind if I ask you a huge favor? There are some wonderful ruins in the Milkshake Swamp that I'd like to observe, but I'd feel much safer with an escort. Would you mind coming with me? The entrance to the swamp is on the north of town. I'll be seeing you soon, I hope. Yeah, uh, cool. So we got we got a Pokedex. We got all sorts of Pokeballs. We can go catch some stuff in the swamp here. That's pretty rad. Um, do I? Yeah, I don't think I need to heal. Bob, you won't believe this, but these guys won't let me into Milkshake Swamp. Nobody enters the swamp. Do, uh, go do something else instead. Still preying on innocent travelers, Team Fusion. I never thought you'd stoop so low. Uh oh, I've already run off the rest of your gang in the swamp. Or I've run off to get rest of your gang in your swamp. Oh my god, I can't talk. So if you have no reason to, st uh, you have no reason to stay here. Of course, if you have any need to protest, my dark eye is itching for battle. Uh oh, our objectives here are complete. We'll be taking our leave now. Ah oh, man, did those grumps harm you? No, thank goodness. I'm sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Blake. I'm a member of the Tun uh, Tuna Elite Four. I've taken it upon myself to protect travelers, such as, uh, such as you, at any expense. Just out of curiosity, why are you both going into Milkshake Swamp? It's not exactly the most fun place to be. I was curious about some of the ruins in the swamp. Bob was going to escort me to them in case any wild Pokemon attack. I don't have any Pokemon, you see. Team Fusion, those men preventing you from entering the swamp were uh, poking around those, ru uh, those same ruins. Allow me to escort you there myself to make sure I've frightened them all off. I'm sure Bob wouldn't want to be hanging around with two adults anyway. We've just begun uh, as a trainer, correct? Continue to keep striving for your dreams and rest assured they'll come true. One day we may even battle. Come inventor, scientific exploration awaits. Okay, so that guy has a dark eye. Also, what? Let's go in here anyway. I, I want to explore. So, let's see. We can, I don't know if there are po there's probably Pokemon encounters in the water, but let's see what's around here. And we'll see if there's anything cool. Oh, ew, it's a Krogonk, lame. Worst Pokemon, terrible. I don't like Krogonk. I don't know if you knew that. But yeah, so we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, run from that. Ain't nobody got no time for no Krogonk. Let's go ahead and... What's this guy got to say? Uh, when you're exploring Milkshake Swamp, make sure not to step in Poison Ivy. It could seriously hamper your journey. Okay, so we're going to have to look out for some Poison Ivy, guys. And we see a Shroomish. That's interesting. 
So get out there, Fred, but we don't actually want to fight this thing. Because uh, we don't have a good type advantage. Or type matchup on it. Okay. So let's see what else there is. Ooh, a Pokeball. Yeah. And it actually was a Pokeball. I was assuming it would just be, you know, some random item. Okay, so see that thing over there? That's Poison Ivy. I don't, I don't actually know if you see it. Anyways, um, this guy likes bug types, eh? Well, it's raining, so I'm going to have a pretty good uh, advantage on this fight. Because I can hit him with some nice bubble action. Let's go ahead and do that. Because that'll be uh, double power on my move between stab and rain. So, that's a solid 80 base power. Jeez. Cool. Oh man. Sorry, I've been playing all this competitive Pokemon, so this is so weird for me. It's just like, ah, oh, yeah, use Bubble. We got a Weedle action going on. Let's go ahead and hit that with some nice Bubble as well. So guys, what's up? Uh, have you guys downloaded uh, Pokemon Glaze yet? Because you totally should. Totes goats, it's the best. Okay, there goes Weedle. And Fred is level 9. What a beast. Okay. Take that, Adrian. Hey, Adrian. Okay, so we don't want to step in that Poison Ivy. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, no. This is a disaster. We've got a shroomish... We've got a shroomish problem here. Nah. It's probably not much of a problem, honestly. Let's go ahead and just run from that. Hopefully we don't run into any trainers using Shroomish. Ooh, we could have a double battle here. I only have the one Pokemon though, so that could be an issue. That's an Ekans. Uh, the unfortunate thing in this gen, Ekans isn't very good. I mean, like, Poison type in general isn't very good, but uh, in third gen it was, like, god awful. Like, the worst type. So. Is this guy. Are, are they gonna challenge me to it? Nah, it looks like they're just gonna take, uh, take turns. Which is good, because I've only got that one guy. I guess that's why. Anyways, this guy's had, uh, he's got a Caterpie. It's level 5. So we're definitely going to need to catch some stuff. But, I know there's some stuff that we can catch on uh, on our journey. Ooh, that Caterpie lived. The Caterpie who lived. Could be the next Harry Potter. He's even got the weird forehead thing. I feel like I should catch a Caterpie and name it Harry now. <laughs> okay, let's see. So that's two, uh, one down. And I'll probably have a Weedle. T no, another Caterpie. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, I guess it's okay. <laughs> Caterpie's really bad. So, um, Pokemon talk. Have you guys been playing Pokemon Go? I've been messing around with it. I'm still not very good. Uh, my stuff isn't very high level. Or, you know, combat power or whatever. My guy's level 11 at time of recording. And, uh, close to 12. But, like, everybody else I know is, like, 20. Or not playing. Which I think is probably the better option. Um, but yeah, I haven't been... Like, I, you know, I work a lot. And I just don't go out a lot. So, you know, I'm, I was thinking of trying to, like, do some sort of videos on it. But it's really not something I can do. Um... Now, you guys know I record most of my videos from Android. Oh, God. Am I even going to be able to hit this thing? Is it going to have water absorb? I feel like it will. Let's try it anyway. So, bubble. No, it looks like it's hitting. Now, in the uh, in the mainline games, this thing gets, like, uh, dry skin. I don't know if that's an ability in this. So, hmm. Oh, no. He's got rain dish. Okay. Well, that sort of half replicates it. Technically, in the uh, in the actual game, I wouldn't be able to hit this thing at all. But whatever. I'm not going to complain about being able to knock him out. Since Krogunk is dumb. Yeah, you're just a novice, you butthead. Okay, who's next? Okay, we got another encounter. Come on, be something cool. Ah, that's an Atkins again. But yeah, Pokemon Go is really fun. Like, you know, it's one of those things that's like, it's an experience, I guess, is the best way to describe it. It's not so much like, you know, um, it's not like necessarily a Pokemon experience. Like with this, I like just being able to sit down and do, but yeah, I'm not really, sorry, can't talk. 
I'm not really able to record as well as I'd like. Also, that's a Skroopy. That'd be pretty cool to catch one. Although, I don't know if it gets any moves, which could, uh, could hamper us. I don't know what kind of moves this thing gets. I know he, like, gets, like, some pretty cool ones in the... Ow. Uh, yeah, he gets some pretty cool moves in, like, the, um, in the new games. Like, I think he gets Sucker Punch and, like, Knock Off and stuff. And Poison Jab's actually decent in the later games, but... Because cause of the Fairy type. Ooh, Water Sport. That's a terrible move that we don't ever need. <laughs> but whatever. Okay, so, let's keep going. This guy's gonna want to fight, isn't he? The Swamp is awesome! It's really not. What's he got? What's he gonna have, guys? Oh, he's gonna peach you! Oh, Cyclone's gonna freak. Sorry, Cyclone. <laughs> I gotta knock him out. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with a water sport. Or I mean sorry, bubble. Ooh, it didn't knock him out. And he's gonna hit me with that thunder shock. That's some uh, some pretty solid damage from Mr. Pichu. Okay. Well we'll just keep bubbling just so I don't get static. I don't know if it'll have static, but I know I don't wanna get hit with it. So, let's see what happens, uh, let's see what he brings in next. If he brings in another Pe- no, it's a Cleffa. So I guess he's just got all the baby Pokemon. Well, let's go ahead and hit that with some nice bubble action as well. This thing's just gonna be normal rather than fairy. So, good to keep in mind. Because fairy isn't a thing in this game. Yeah, this ROM hack came out before, uh, X and Y, I think. I'm fairly certain it did. Sorry, had to take a drink of Cheerwine. Still waiting on that sponsorship deal. I don't think I'm ever going to get it, to be completely honest. And here comes Togepi. Now, Togepi is pretty cool. I like Togepi. The only problem is, when it turns into a Togekiss, it's kind of awful. And it, by awful, I mean it's like, it's really good. It's just terrible to play against. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for no Togekiss. Oh my god, it's the worst. With like Thunder Wave and Air Slash and stuff. Ah, it's it's the it's genuinely torture to play against. <laughs> but that's okay. These things happen sometimes. Anyways, Fred's level 12 now. That's pretty rad. Okay, that was crushing. Yeah, it was. Destroyed ya. Hey, let's see. Let's see if I can get anything cool. Come on. I'd catch a Skaroopy if I can find one. Nah, it's just a Krogunk. Disgusting. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for no Krogunk. Man, we're level 12. Yeesh. Jeez. Um, okay, so what do we got going on here? Bunch of wackos, eh? Bunch of nut jobs. What's over here? Um... I guess they're just people. Oh, uh, ah, Bob, you came just to, uh, just at the right time. As I suspected, another grunt snuck up. Uh, oh gosh. Uh oh, look at that guy. He seems very suspicious. He must be up to no good. Do you want to see a member of the Elite Four in action? Come with me. Uh, come with me then, Inventor. It's best you stay here where it's safe. Uh, oh gosh. I snuck back to get the information I was employed to find. Why don't we just punch him? Um, okay. That was bizarre. Anyways, are you two alright? You scared off the grunt good and proper, it seems. Uh, I don't remember what voice I was doing for him before. Wow, amazing. Hmm. I, I'm done here for now. It's getting very nasty. Thank you, Blake and Bob, for assisting me. Please take this. So we got a Pokecom. Um... That Pokecom is a device of my own invention. It translates Pokemon speech into human speech and vice versa. Hopefully it will come... Oh wait, it will help on your journey. Okay, very cool. So anything that's in Pokecom will be in green. Keep that in mind. Um, okay, see you around. Schwifty. So uh, these ruins are amazing, huh? Why are they here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, we waited out. That's not good. And look where we are now. What happened? Did I slip through the universe again? 
Oh, I thought I heard a commotion. Do you remember me? My name is Luke. I was the one who brought you back to your room last time. As I predicted, you managed to slip through again. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'll have to hold off explaining again. Would you mind helping me? I'm looking for a mudkip that's wandered off. It's somewhere around here, but I can't find it. Anywhere. I'd appreciate it if you could look around for me. If you find it, I'll explain what's happening as best I can. Uh, I completely forgot. Let me heal your Pokemon up for you. Okay. Thank you for your help, Bob. Okay, so my Pokemon should be healed, right? Wait, whoops. Wrong button. Pokemans. Yeah, he's healed up. Alright, so there's a Mudkip around here. There it is. Let's go get him. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is going to be one... Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Okay, so this is going to be one of those situations where we have to, uh... Where do we just get him? Uh-oh. It disappeared into the mud. Let's go back this way. It'll probably be something we just have to kind of corner him. So what's up here? I bet there's an item here. No? No item at all. Hmm. Here's an item. A max ether, eh? Okay. Maybe around this way? Maybe I have to... Yeah, probably just around this way. So let's go this way. Aha! You think I don't see you? The mudkip attacked! Uh-oh. Well, we could try to catch this thing. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to, but we can try it. Let's hit it with a bubble at first and just see if we can uh, knock his health down a little. Now, not a huge mudkip guy, personally. Um, he's okay, and he's probably my favorite of the third gen starters, but that's not saying much. Oh, wait, yeah, he's just water type, isn't he? Oh, no, my accuracy's down. That's not good. Um, well, let's just hit it with a pound then, I guess. Um, pound. Yeah, that'll learn you. Oh, golly. This isn't good. My attack. My precious attack. Well, let's just keep hitting him, I guess. Eventually, we'll knock him down to a... Oh, no. Not that. Anything but that. Yeah, eventually, we'll knock him down to the red. And we can potentially catch him, I guess. I mean, there's no... It, it'll probably tell us if we can't. Let's see. Rain continues to fall. Sorry my chair is so squeaky. I need some WD-40 or something. Honestly. Ouch. That hurt. This thing's a beast. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit him with a nice bubble just so we don't do too much damage in case we crit. Because that's something I'm worried about. Okay. So we knocked him down into the red. He's going for some water gun action. Uh, now we can go ahead and hit him with a, uh, a Pokeball. Bag. Pokeball. Oh, wow, we have 11. That's pretty rad. Now we didn't have any way to status him. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we got him. Cool. So we got a Mudkip. Now we're going to have to pick which water type we want to use. On land, it can powerfully lift large boulders by planting its four feet and heaving. It sleeps by burying itself in soil at the water's edge. Um, yeah, we'll name him. We'll name him, uh, Redundant. Nah, we'll name him, uh, Redis. Because that's pretty close to Redundant. But it's, uh, it also is like Norman Redis, who's in Walking Dead, which I don't watch. Anyways, we caught him. So let's go back to What's-His-Face and tell him. Um... Uh, Excellent work. The, uh, the portal to your universe is working again, but you have to hurry before it shuts again. I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Get to the portal. Is that this? Okay. Nice. Right, so we're back. We're back in the uh, in the world of the living. Let's see. Let's go ahead and explore around here, I guess, if we can. Any items to be had? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Not over there, anyway. How about over here? Nah. Bomber. Bomber, dude. Now then. What? Wait, wasn't there like a... What, is, what? There was something here, wasn't there? I don't remember. Anyways, this guy's got bugs. So we got to watch out for those. Oh no, he's got a Kakuna. Which can't do anything. It's a Kakuna Matata. It's a horrible joke. I, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings like that. <laughs> it's the worst joke. No! Not the bad you. Yeah, so we're probably not going to use uh, Mudkip for anything. But it's nice to have him. 
I feel like if I had, um, what you call it, if I had gone with, like, one of the other starters, especially, like, uh, Infernape or something, or, you know, yeah, one of those guys, I could have, I could have made use of him, but whatever. Anyways, we knocked that guy out, so, yeah, take that, Randall, I think you're so cool. What's up here, I wonder? Have I talked to this guy? Cool, you do that. Okay, and we are actually at the 20 minute mark. We're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. We'll finish exploring this area later. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemans Glazed, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye guys.